What's up? Team Insanity, Toy Insanity here, bringing a little bit of that hashtag Alien Insanity. Now check it, check it, check it out. I got the Lenard. That's the company that makes the brand new Xenomorph Swarm Alien series available exclusively at Walmart. Wow, 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 wow. insane, wow, incredible, wow, unbelievable. These do actually look really cool. Yes, indeed, very cool. You get the Xenomorph, a bonus Colonial Marine, and even a weapon for $10. And they went all out on this packaging, too. You know, there's going to be some uh, yeah, hardcore fan out there that's going to keep them new in box, in package, and p paste them to the wall. Because, look, man, very cool packaging. $10, 10 measly American doll hairs right here. $10, $10, insane. But uh, yeah, we're also going to compare the Xenomorphs to the much more expensive Super 7 ones. So check it. Even uh, Let's read this blurb. It says right here, calling all Colonial Marines. Get ready to... No, let's start over. You got to do it like this. Calling all Colonial Marines. Get ready to gear up and take on the most fearsome creatures to inhabit planet LV426 and beyond. Oh, they're taking Toy Story. They're taking Toy Stories. Uh, yeah, yeah, emphasis right there. In an epic space battle, the dreaded Xenomorphs have multiplied in vast numbers, threatening the lives that inhabit space colonies, reaching to the far ends of the universe. Gather your crew to take on, fight, and eradicate the ever-growing number of these terrifying aliens. Lots of awesome action verbs there. Xenomorph warriors. Do you get a dog tag too? It shows the egg, face hugger, chest burster, runner, soldier, queen. 2019 Lenard, 40th anniversary. Very cool. This one is going to have a very colorful blue xenomorph. You can already tell there's going to be tons of articulation right there. Very cool. This one has more of an astronaut type marine and a gold alien warrior. And, you know, did, did, no, this is real. This is a real face hugger coming out the little pod. This is called a drone, a Xenomorph drone, Xenomorph warrior. They are the same sculpt for sure. No, no, the head, the head. The head sculpt is different. Oh, I'm learning so much about the Aliens franchise. A blue warrior, a gold drone, and this one I already knew was different. This is the runner, a red runner. This guy's got a small vehicle, $10. Now, if that's not enough, there's a fourth pack. This one is $15. You can see the pack is shaped different. And this gets us another warrior, a green warrior, the big mech suit, and another marine. Now, there is a fifth pack, and it's just a tank. It's just a tank with a marine. There is no xenomorph in it. So, easy skip for me. Easy skip for most people. Now if you'll just give me a minute or a second or a minute and 55 seconds off screen to take all these out of the packs and I'll be right back. Later. All right. Thank you for the thumbs up. It's very important. We now return to the Lenard Aliens of 2020. This was a $10 pack. This, boom, boom, and the mech suit was a mere $15. Another $10 pack, and the third $10 pack. All of this was $45. Whereas on the other hand, these mere three Super 7 figures in their drab collars was also $45. Yeah, uh, crank that beat. 
All right, check it though. These <laughs> these are uh, pretty impressive. Meets or exceeds expectations. Lots of articulation. Ankle, knee, hip, tail, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and neck. Oh, and waist. Oh my gosh, waist articulation. Insanity. The only other thing they maybe could have thrown in there, but you know, I don't know how they got this much articulation for this low of a price point, would have been jaw. No. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there's definitely not jaw. Okay, okay, insane. These are amazing figures. Look how easy the ball joints move. Think about the infinite realm of posable possibilities. What amazing figures. $10 for this freaky alien. Oh, there's kind of a some modeling in the plastic. I guess that's not good. Beautiful sculpt, incredible collar, amazing articulation. Ten dollars. Ten dollars gets you this. And the Colonial Marine and this freaking face hugger in a little pod port. 2019 Lamard 20th Century Fox. I got to tell you, this pack here, the one that we're looking at first, is the fan favorite. So I think these probably dropped in January. It is now March. And I looked at them for a while thinking, um, am I going to get those? I'm not big on the Aliens franchise, but I do love a good Xenomorph. I love how there's some colorful Xenomorphs now. And I observed them. I observed this pack getting sold the quickest so here's the deal each of the four let me start over each of the three ten dollar packs my Walmart got four of each I, I ended up waiting to get the last one of this pack whereas they still had most of the three other packs I don't know if it's because it's a gold plastic and gold gold in any sense usually signifies rarity it is not a rarer pack but it is gonna sell out first or maybe it's because a different kind of Colonial Marine soon suit. Or maybe it's because the bonus is not a weapon or a vehicle. It is actually another alien. Insane. So I definitely love that pack. This is the only pack where you get the runner. But look at the sheen on this metallic red plastic. This one does not have knee articulation or ankle. You cannot... Well, you probably could make him stand up, but it's going to look weird. He is definitely the runner type alien. But all the others are the same. The neck, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist, and the tail. Very cool. Tons of posability. And your bonus, you get an actual rolling Space Marine motorcycle with this ugly dude. I mean, you know, all the... I want to call them hunters from like Treasure X, but all the Marines essentially have the same articulation too. Surprising quality. They do have that one exposed screw, but whatever. I mean, ten dollars. I don't even. I, I don't even care about the dude. I think the Xenomorphs themselves are worth ten dollars. I mean, these are fifteen, and you get way less articulation. These have neck, shoulder. And hips only. You know, no waist, no knees, no ankles, no elbows. And, uh, you know, they do also have tail. The Lennard ones, aside from more articulation, excellent sculpts. They are taller. You get a little more height there. And the plastic is on par. I mean, at the end of the day, this is probably going to be considered a cheaper plastic. But it's definitely, it's not horrible. And you get incredible collars. I was wrong about elbows. There is not elbow articulation. So we can run through it again. Neck, tail, shoulder, wrist, hip, knees, ankles. No 
L. Bows. All right, so this was the $15 pack. And it's going to be... See, these sculpts are differently, uh, a little bit different. One is the drone. Well, the gold one is the drone. The head sculpt is different only. However, the runner does have the same head sculpt as the drone. These two, the green and the blue, are called warriors. So they would be the same style of alien as this Super 7 figure. Dude, I'm just so impressed by these. Tons of posability, and I love the colors. This is the Colonial Marine you get with that guy. Oh, this guy doesn't have the articulation. Interesting. So this guy is five points only. That's a little bit weird. The ones in the $10 pack have more articulation than the guy in the $15 pack. But, of course, he has the mech suit, which I was unable to detach at the bottom. Not a big deal. I just failed to realize that I needed to bring a screwdriver. It is the standard Phillips head screwdriver to take three screws off. So that mech suit came with the green warrior alien. Here's the last $10 pack. Okay, so this is this guy doesn't have our two of them don't have articulation. I'm sure they're just reusing their generic you know soldier sculpts. I have collected from Lenard a series they did. They called it Jurassic Clash, and then they changed the name to Primal Clash. You can see those in my Jurassic Park playlist. I I know they're not Jurassic Park, but that's where I wanted to put them. Yeah, these two have more articulation than those two. Interesting. But I'm sure they're just the same kind of generic sculpt. Lenard also did the Jumanji figures, and I think they did the Rampage figures. All ended up being Walmart exclusive. But this is the first one that really impressed me. So uh, Primal Clash, a.k.a. Jurassic Clash, were dudes like this riding dinosaurs. They weren't bad for the price point, but it was since it was an independent original line, you know, you couldn't really say, oh, this is so, you know, impressive and, and true to the franchise. I'm just blown away by these aliens. So there's our second warrior. Loving these guys. You can go back to the Xenomorph Swamp. And let's pull the Marines out of the way. And just look at these four colors. My only complaint, really, is that with that fifth pack they made, it's a little army tank. The complaint is that there's not an alien in it. So to me, I don't want to pay $15 for just one of those guys and a tank. But you know, you did pretty well as a toy line when the only complaint Toy Insanity can give you is that you didn't make more. You didn't make another alien. I would love to have gotten a fifth color, maybe purple or yellow, or even you know do, the, do one of these drab collars, black, brown, or very dark blue. Really hope they do more of these. I want these guys in every color of the rainbow. Amazing plastic, incredible sculpts, and quality articulation. Furthermore, you get all that stuff as a, as a bonus, as far as I'm concerned. Toy insanity, alien insanity. Look at these guys. Very cool. I'm glad I went for them. Also, with 5, 5 is a better display option because you always got that guy in the middle. There is a very much larger, I think it's $20, and it's a purple alien queen. And it's, so, it's probably four times the height of these. It's not you know, going to be considered in scale at all. But I wouldn't be surprised if I end up getting it just because I was so impressed by these four. All right, thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for checking out my video. Check out the Alien Insanity playlist. That's where I'm putting my Xenomorph collection. All right. 
See you later. Bye-bye.